Welcome to this tutorial on implementing a peer-to-peer -peer network in Java. In this video, we will be building a simple peer-to-peer -peer file sharing application. By the end of this video, you will understand the concept of peer-to-peer -peer networks and how to implement one using Java. Let's start with the basics. A peer-to-peer -peer, P2P, network is a distributed network architecture that partitions tasks or workloads among peers. Peers are both suppliers and consumers of resources, in contrast to the traditional client-server model. A P2P network allows each peer to communicate directly with one another without needing a centralized server. To implement a P2P network in Java, we will utilize sockets for network communication. Java's java.net package provides the necessary classes to create sockets and establish connections between peers. We will create two main classes, one for the peer itself and another for handling the connections and file sharing. First, let's create a new Java project named P2P Network. In your favorite IDE, create a new class named peer. In the peer class, we will declare the necessary variables for holding the peer's port number and an instance of the server socket. A server socket will allow us to listen for incoming connections from other peers. Next, we will add a method called start that will listen for incoming connections. We'll also need to create a thread to handle each incoming connection. This makes sure our peer can handle multiple connections simultaneously. Now let's create the client handler class that will manage the interactions with each connected client. Each time a new peer connects, an instance of client handler will be created. Inside the run, method of client handler, we will define how data will be exchanged between the peers. For now, let's implement a simple echo functionality to test our connections. Next, we need to implement a way for peers to connect to each other. Let's add a connect to peer, string host, int port, method in the peer class. This method will establish a connection with another peer. Let's add a main method to our peer class to allow us to run the peer and test the connection logic. We will take user input for the port number to run the peer. Now that we have our basic P2P framework set up, let's run multiple instances of our peer application to test the connections between them. Open multiple terminal windows and start different peers by running Java Peer 5000 and Java Peer 5001, adjusting the ports as necessary. Once both peers are running, try connecting Peer 5000 to Peer 5001 by adding a call to connect to Peer in the main method of Peer 5000 right after starting the peer. Now, when you run peer 5000, it should send a message to peer 5001 and print the received echo response. This confirms that our basic P2P functionality is working. To make this application more functional, we'll implement an interface for file sharing. We will allow a peer to select a file on their system and share it with other connected peers. To do this, we will modify the client handler class to handle file transfers. First, we need to update the message handling part of our client handler to check if a message contains a request for a file transfer. For now, we will just print a response when someone requests a file. Next, we will implement a method to send a file from one peer to another. We will also allow peers to specify which file they want to send through a command in the chat. To receive a file, we also need to implement a method in client handler. We will read the incoming file data and save it to the local file system. Now, we can expand our command handling logic to support file sending and receiving. Let's modify the existing code in our client handler to listen for file sending commands as well. Next, in the main method of the peer class, we can add command line input handling for users to send files using the command send underscore file file name. This will allow a user to initiate a file transfer with the specified file name. Now, let's run our peer application again and test the file sharing functionality. Use the send underscore file file name command to share files between the connected peers that are running. You might want to test with various file sizes to ensure that our file transfer implementation works correctly under different conditions. Make sure to handle exceptions that might occur during file reading and writing. One important aspect of peer-to-peer -peer networks is the ability to discover other peers in the network. While this basic implementation connects peers manually, a real-world application would benefit from a mechanism to discover peers dynamically. However, this implementation serves as a good starting point. You might also want to consider implementing a way to handle disconnections, either by catching exceptions during communication or implementing a heartbeat mechanism to keep track of peer status. 
This concludes our tutorial on creating a peer-to-peer -peer network in Java. You have learned how to establish socket connections, manage multiple peers, and implement file transfers. Feel free to enhance this implementation further with better peer discovery and management strategies. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Follow along on our journey as we explore more networking concepts and Java programming tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next time.